All right, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do some more Ultron on Ultron action here. You can see a couple of people now have him in our shard. I think I'm I think I was the fourth one to get him. And so like this dude here, he's only got him at 5 stars as well, so he's still going through his next run. But you can see he's got all five of these guys in tier 13. So I'm sure he's got uh Minerva as well, and I'm sure he's using Minerva in place of uh probably Fury, I would assume. That's what I plan on doing. And uh, he'll probably have 7 star Ultron very soon. So, um, what I've been using in uh, in place of Fury is Ultron, of course. And then I've actually swapped in Minerva and Vision on attack to fight Ultrons. And the reason why is because on turn 2, Vision will not be blind and he will be able to clear a bunch of buffs off of the enemy. So, one of the things Ultron lacks is resistance, um, at least at high levels compared to other characters and their focus. So, uh, for instance, like a Quake special is always going to take two buffs off of him. Uh, even Cap Shield is pretty successful at removing a buff or two. Um, there's a couple of moves that just traditionally are used for buff removal, like um, Vision's ult, as well as uh, Strange's special for flipping buffs, and I've never seen him resist that, and my Strange is only like 32k. So... Um, what I found is really, if you're on offense and you're playing smart, um, the only thing you don't want to do is have an offense stop juggernaut with, uh, seven red stars, uh, nail you with that. Oh my God. He resisted it again. He resisted my disrupt. Oof, man, that sucks. Um. I don't want I don't want him to go before my vision. My vision needs to go first to ensure that uh I get that um man, buff removal on everybody. Well, he's still gonna get offense up. Shit. Oh that hurts. Um <laughs> Yeah. Uh I might have I don't know what to do here then. Um so I got a blind um uh, nerve anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, and then yeah, the disrupt hides him. Yikes, so he's going to hit over here, this is going to hurt, but hopefully we'll uh, be able to keep these guys alive, so we'll see. Uh, oof, youch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to do some regens here, and we can't even target him, um, and he's about to get offense up from, uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So here's something interesting. On Ultron's basic, he'll steal two positive effects and clear the, a taunt. So what I can do is, right here, I can clear those effects from Fury, so at least he doesn't share offense up with that Juggernaut. So that kind of sucks because I miss out on my turn for my ult um, to do some big damage. Uh, but I do, do have offense up X2. However, now he doesn't have defense up, so this is going to hurt. But there is a slow on Juggernaut still. So... I might be able to get away with uh, with this anyways because he's going to take a while to take his turn. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot here because uh, i got to keep punching him, so that sucks. Uh, I can reduce his turn meter here with this guy. I love the little incinerator dudes. It's such an awesome ability. And here, here's where Vision signs, uh, shines. Offense up, alt to remove some minions. Uh, get some heals from Minerva, and uh, clear the deck a little bit. The only problem is Ultron's going to call in more minions soon, so we really have to take care of him soon. Um, we can go ahead and use this now. Uh, he only has two buffs on him, though, which really sucks, but I think we kind of have to just to get some control over this and hope that we can uh, do something here. We need to get him some energy. Oh, there it goes. Youch. That wasn't so bad. Um, but he's still got his offense up. Now, since I have Minerva, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this attack and heal everybody up. So this is going to give me some more time to deal with this stuff, kill their Ultron once, and then uh, try to get him down once more, and then that'll basically be the game. Um, the only problem is he gets stuck here on this Juggernaut with the uh, turn meter reduction because you don't have anything else to do. Uh, <laughs> Until, yeah, later. Uh, <laughs> there's there's the minions. Oof, and I only have a minute 30 left. Actually, this might be really bad. I might have been talking too much. Um, need to get this Ultron down. Let's see if we can steal his buffs. There we go. There's his buff. Let's kill Ultron. There we go. And then 
I'll worry about the minions later. Uh, shit, only a minute 20. I gotta move, move, move. Sorry, I'm gonna have to run through this and kill his fury before he shares uh, buffs. Let's heal and then blast him. Steal those buffs from fury whenever you can. That's absolutely necessary. And then we'll see if we can kill Magneto so he stops getting the speed ups. Oh, there he's dead. Now we just need Star Lord down. And should be in good shape. I didn't even have to res anybody yet, did I? Oh, wait, I did lose somebody. I lost vision. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right, 45 seconds left. Let's blast this juggernaut off the side. Oh, he had death roof. Okay, well, now he's dead. All right, now we just got some minions to clean up and let's do that <laughs> why not <laughs> and uh yeah so um this is a tough fight if i didn't have ultron i'm not sure what the hell i'd be doing um just probably have to use strange and get lucky with buff flips but man that seven red star juggernaut i mean he can take a lot of damage and he has high resist so he actually resists my Magneto Disrupt probably, I would say, half the time. Uh, I fought this guy quite a bit. It took me a little while before I had Ultron to even figure him out. <laughs> but with Ultron, I actually have a chance at least, so that's nice. But it is it is really tough. And this guy here, Mr. Wolf Tech, our, our favorite punching bag, um, he added Drax, so you can't do Disrupt on his Juggernaut turn one. And the other funny thing is his Ronin will dispel stuff on the first turn. So even if you do disrupt the Juggernaut, you have to keep wailing on him because otherwise he'll go after Ronin removes the disrupt. And you want him to use his special before Ronin removes that disrupt. So it wastes his two-turn taunt and all those other buffs that he gets and his insane resistance. Um, so yeah, and then you're just trying to deal with all this stuff this is a really good defense by the way if you can get something like this uh, i'm currently running a defense of let's see I, i'm still experimenting though i put in minerva <laughs> just because everybody says she's really good and then uh, ultron magneto and juggernaut and i threw drax in here just to kind of screw with people so they can't disrupt juggernaut turn one at least not consistently uh, maybe with a high-end miles they might be able to if they land that second disrupt on juggernaut you know lucky or maybe they'll hit ultron with it and that would be bad too because um, then he won't get his defense up with the minion summons and then the minion summons won't be able to buff him so i really do think that there is a big key here if you can land an early disrupt on ultron maybe with spider verse team i think you can really do a lot of damage to Ultron defenses. Uh, it just kind of depends on your roster if you can even do that, though. I, I certainly can't. My my Spider Verse team is like 50k, so <laughs> they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, you know, just how it goes. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's fighting the Ultron. So uh, we'll be doing a lot more of these as they keep popping up, and hopefully we'll have more interesting uh, variants of defenses to fight. Because I don't know, I'm just curious to see how Ultron does in some other teams. So we shall see.